With the commercial success of La Bête Humaine, Jean was at last able to form his own company, La Nouvelle Édition Française, and film an original story. Initially conceived as a classical comedy, La Règle du Jeu, The Rules of the Game, grew into a corrosive satire on the French bourgeoisie, dealing with a web of marital infidelities, both upstairs and downstairs, over a weekend at a country chateau. Jean himself played Octave, the clumsy go-between whose efforts to please everyone end in disaster. Among the cast was the actress Paulette Dubost, who played a chambermaid. Il avait un timbre de voix euh, très personnel et qui, qui vous enjôlait. Que, on l'entendait parler, on avait envie de, de, de se mettre à genoux devant lui, de, de, de faire euh, n'importe quoi pour lui être agréable. Alors tous les jours, euh, c'était des, des moments de, de rigolade, euh, c'était toujours des moments de, de bonne bouffe, il aimait bien euh, manger. Et c'était, il prenait la, la vie du bon côté, c'était la joie de vivre. Et ça se ressent dans, dans, dans le film, vous savez. It seems to me it's a sort of a quintessential French film. Uh, it combines the, you know, the, uh, the sort of a wonderful sort of Marivaux-like quality of, uh, uh, of the, the comedy uh, à la française. And... Uh, and, uh, and a sort of a weird uh, uh, social study, actually quite accurate, quite uh, vigorous and, uh, and acid, uh, aggressive. <laughs> This film, which is a film uh, about uh, a weekend in a chateau in the countryside between people which today we would call Euro trash um, was in fact a kind of supreme prophecy about the reality of that time. And there is this scene in La Règle du Jeu where they go hunting and um, there is a massacre of birds and uh, rabbits and uh, I think Renoir was very very conscious of the fact that the war was just on the verge of exploding. Well, it's a pretty shocking movie even today. I mean, imagine, you know, you have this kind of light, satirical, social comedy, and then you suddenly have these rabbits and birds getting killed rather graphically, and then, you know, then it goes into a party sequence, and it's, it's, you know, I think when a picture mixes with such extraordinary, you know, uh, black and white going from comedy to tragedy, going from a party sequence to somebody getting shot and killed. Um, it just, it's a lot for an audience to take. The, the conclusion of the picture, we have it here. On those steps. On those steps. At the end of the picture, with the last word of the picture, when you say that was just an accident. That's the conclusion of the picture. It was just an accident, as any tragedy which That's happens right. in our society today. Yes, exactly. Accidents. We are surrounded with accidents. <laughs> yes. The war in Indochina yes. is an accident. Yes. The, the yes. cars have accidents. And yes. uh, you don't go, go, go along with your wife, it's an accident. Yes. Accident, but accident. That's the conclusion of the picture. Yes. He thought that it was uh, not only a good film, it would be a film that would reveal the French themselves in a way that hadn't happened on the screen before. There's no question that he was absolutely crushed at his reception. You know, the, the uh, premiere on July 7th, I think it was in Paris, 
was a disaster. The audience hated the film. They howled and whistled and tried to burn down the theater. Les gens se battaient dans la salle euh, à la sortie du film. Et même mes parents, moi j'étais en Afrique du Nord, et mes parents m'ont écrit en me disant bah, « Tu sais, on n'est pas fiers que tu sois dans le film d'un f... » Vous vous rendez compte c est, c est, Quand on pense à ça, on se dit « C'est pas vrai, c'est pas possible que les gens euh, n'aient pas pu réagir dès le début à, à ce chef-d'œuvre. » Et moi, en le tournant, euh, je me rendais compte de ce que ça allait donner. Hein. You know, when I show a picture, in the beginning, they don't like it. 30 years later, they say it's genial, and I'm a wonderful man, and it's extraordinary, and they cover me with flowers. Too late, too late. 